Hi guys, Robbie RS here, and today I'm just bringing a quick little video about PKing on mobile. I had a few people ask me this, uh, friends asking what it's like PKing on it. I went on the tournament servers for a little bit and tried doing some PKing, and I'm just gonna go through the positives and negatives to it. Now, I haven't spent too much time PKing, it was only like an hour or so. I really suck at PKing, never been a PKer. So I don't really find it fun, but I figured I'd just do it for testing purposes anyway. So I've got a couple positives and a few negatives. Um, it's not going to be a very long video because there's not that much to cover. But anyway, so the first positive is it is possible to do it. Um, lots of people were debating whether it would be possible to do it at all. And it is. I managed to get like three kills, I think. Although the guy I was playing against also wasn't a PKer. So it varies clearly, but it will take quite a lot of practice to get used to the the UI and stuff. Uh, it's quite different because obviously you don't have F keys and all that stuff. It it is quite a lot harder. Um, the, I'd imagine the better you are at PK and the easier it will be for you. But I can't see it being used as anything more than just like a challenge or a cool mini game, like cool thing to just do against someone for a bet or something. The performance is decent enough for PK and um, as you can see in my other video. Now the tournament worlds were pretty uh, laggy to be honest uh, but I'll get onto that more in the in the con section. I also tried connecting a keyboard and mouse to my phone because one of the problems with OSRS mobile at the moment is you can't actually talk in chat. You can reply to PMs and stuff but there's when you click the chat your keyboard doesn't come up so it's there's not really any way for you to talk so I connected the Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse through an adapter into my phone and the keyboard worked but the mouse wasn't responding for some reason maybe they did this on purpose but so you can't plug in a keyboard and mouse currently and PK on your phone I did try that I had some guy ask me in the comments if you can do that but you can't and again before it could be fun for like challenges in games like uh, people if they want to make YouTube videos or stream it it could be quite fun for that especially if it's mobile against mobile it won't be so bad so when mobile actually comes out maybe they can be like you know specific mobile fights that where you both know that you're on the phone and then it would be a much more even playing field but if you was out in the wildy on your mobile and a PK came along chances are you're gonna die because I can't imagine anyone being able to do any you know like tri breeding or anything close to that on mobile obviously some people are like really skilled so you never know and now for the cons switching is very hard uh, it's not so much switching the items as hard that's kind of easy it's switching the items then like changing combat styles or like switching to your AGS or whatever and using your spec because it it's not like as responsive as it is on the computer because you can just on the computer you can do it really quick you know equip press your F key and then boom you can do it in like almost one tick well you, some people can do it in one tick but on um on mobile I struggled to even do it like I'd switch and then it wouldn't register my special attack hit and then I'd have to hit once with the AGS and then it, it wasn't very easy to do um the only th weapon I can see maybe working is Granite Maul because you can just spam special attack. For me at least, uh, I couldn't do switching. It's mainly switching and specking, um, they're two cons, but I you know, just put them together. And also the UI. Um, there's two different UIs you can use. You can use the fixed one and then the default uh, one for the that they created just for mobile. Using them on just for mobile is really hard because the the things are like split between right and left and the combat style is on the left and your inventory is on the right. So it's and playing with your thumbs it just isn't a good way to play because you've, obviously your thumbs are like massive. They're not very accurate. So the best way to play on mobile is to just have it on a flat surface and just use your index finger and it was almost impossible really for me at least. Obviously other people are better at doing certain things. Um to PK and that so I had to switch to fixed mode also the performance on um, the normal mode is it's just like resizable and fixed in on the desktop like the performance difference I couldn't actually PK and um, the performance was too too bad in the tournament worlds in the normal uh, thing again people with faster phones might be able to but I think it's more 
to do with the app and the optimization of it rather than actual performance of my phone but overall it's definitely possible to do um, with enough practice when it comes out I can imagine people practicing quite a lot and getting used to it to me it's more of just like a fun side thing to do I can't really see PK being a proper thing to do on mobile unless it's like mobile only tournaments or something like that but that's just my thoughts on it at the current state things can obviously change uh, they could uh, maybe make like a custom UI that you can switch to for PKN that's much easier. But as it currently stands, I don't really see PKN as a very viable thing to do, especially if you're against other people using keyboard and mouse because you're at such a disadvantage. It's kind of the same as playing, it's kind of the same as going against someone on like Call of Duty who's using an Xbox controller and you're using a keyboard and mouse. It's massive difference in accuracy. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and, and stay subscribed if you want some more OSRS mobile beta content.